shit. I'll get it. Eventually. Oh! That was close. That was a close one. That was a close one. Let's go! Oh! Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of Motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Night Reception. You just started a new job as a receptionist at a hotel, and some strange things are going on, but you, you kind of like bat an eye. You kind of look away. But progressively, as the night continues, things start to get weirder and weirder and weirder. So without further ado, let's hop right into this shit! It was just another regular shift for me. You know, checking guests in, finding their rooms, and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading, she, before, before heading, she was upset, saying I work too much, never have time for us. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I'd smooth things out. As usual, the guests arrived and I did my job. Greet them, pull up their reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. <laughs> Smelled like that smelly smell, that smelly, smelly smell that smells smelly. Or maybe it was just me, but greet them, pull up the reservation, and guide them to their rooms. Uh, okay. Okay, <laughs> maybe it was just me, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right, and it turns out I wasn't wrong. Yeah, this sensitivity is not high enough for me. You guys know how I feel about my sensitivity. Huh? How do I? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hello? Oh, that was me. Three point. Fuck. Stop. Huh? No. Huh? Hold on, I'll get. Ah! Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Good evening. The name's Victor. I've booked the room for the night. Of course. Oh, sorry. That was me. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. Oh, you have no idea. Comfortable is the name. It is our most comfortable suite. You are our honored guest. Uh. Oh. Oh. It's a motel, not a hotel. It is very dark here. Uh, which one did he have? I don't even know what his room number was. Sir, what was your room number? Sir, sir. <laughs> what was your room number? Uh, I guess we just try them all then. Do you want one? No. Do you want two? Oh, no. three? Is it one? One was the only one that looked like it could let me. Sir! What was your fucking room number? Oh. Oh. See, I, sh I should have figured that. I mean, I knew that the whole time. It was you guys who didn't know. I was screaming at you in the video, telling you in the comments that this was the room, or that was how you, sir. Here, walk right in. Uh, here you are. Do I not? Is this not his room? Did I just open this door for no reason? The fuck? I do not want to have to try all these doors. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Please tell me one of these rooms is his. Here you are. Okay. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to call the front desk. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need anything. Appreciate it, kid. Hey, don't call me a kid. I'm a full grown man. I'm more of a man than you, I'll tell you that. Simple, easy, nothing to it. This job is everything I could have ever asked for. Pretty sure the pay is good, the benefits are well. There's a playground, which means that anybody on the list, you know, you know the list? Oh, 
fuck. We're gonna have to come out here and... Oh, uh, We're gonna have to come out here and, and switch the lights back on. Uh, oh. As I was saying, anybody on the list should know that they cannot be here because they're within something something feet of a playground. Which means that there's no bad people here. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to look at me. Hi, I have a reservation under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. A bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Can I take her into room one? Because for some reason, I could open the door for room one for... Oh, what was his name? What was his name? I can't remember his name. Here we are. Okay. So I kind of just had to like... Ta-da! Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just call the front desk. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. That room seems... The room seems nice. The room is so nice. And you are so nice. My job is so easy. Ooh, I can water the plants. Wait, can I? Water, water the plants. What the hell? Oh, I keep pressing Q. I never really got any instructions on how to actually play. Oh, you look so sweet. Hello. You don't have a creepy face at all. Hey, my name's Scarlet. I have a reservation, right? I don't know, do you? Yes, Scarlet, let me show you to your room. Great, lead the way. The place, this place is kind of creepy, don't you think? No, not at all. Nothing creepy about this place one bit. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Just working the night shift really does something to you. And, oh, you don't care. I just, I just think I needed somebody to talk to, you know? And, and you're like the only person around right now. Everybody else is in their rooms, probably clonked or doing drugs. I don't really question. I kind of just work here. It's not my place to question what goes on around here. But, uh, here's your room. Here's, here's your room. No? Okay. See, I have a gripe about this game already because why do I have to play room tag with the keys or with the guests and try to figure out what rooms they're supposed to be in? I feel like it should be like, oh yeah, you have a reservation for room 10. Then again, I can't be so critical. This is probably somebody's first game. Why do I have cologne? Who am I trying to impress at work? I work as a hotel receptionist. There's no reason why I need to be trying to impress anybody. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Hey, do you, you got a, you got a boyfriend by chance? You seeing anybody? <laughs> okay, let me stop. Uh, here's your room. You're joking, right? Ah, uh, and it doesn't help because I can't carry more than one, uh, more than one key. At least give me an inventory, you know? Is there a way that I can see? Enter name. Uh, uh, T1DC. Oh, wait! Customer name! Uh, fuck! What was her name? Shit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I could have made this so much easier on myself! Scarlet! Room 12. Oh my god, I could have made that so much easier on myself. How do I back out? Yo. Wait, where'd the key go? I'm over here complaining. No, no, please, no, no. Not like this. No. No. There we go. Sorry to keep you waiting, ma'am. I uh, had a bit of an issue with the uh, the processing system, but everything's fine. Everything's working out just as intended. I know how to do my job. That was on me. I'll I'll take the L for that one. Here's your room. This is your room, Scarlet. If you have any requests or concerns, feel free to call the office. Or I don't know, if you need any like special services from yours truly, you can also Boy, if you don't got it! Let's hope I don't need to. Thanks. Okay, alright, well fuck you, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I could have made that so much easier on myself. I'd better water the plants until new customers arrive. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, them plants was looking dry as hell. Looked like they hadn't been watered in a couple weeks. There you go, little plant dust. All watered and well. Double checking my surroundings. Making sure that nobody's here to harm me. Can I leave? Can I? Hello? Uh. Sir, you're a bit too old to be playing on the park like this. Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle. Oh, that was me. Fuck. Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here. In this place. What you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room? Or home? You have a reservation here? What's your name? Oh. I've been waiting here. Watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Noticed what? You're not making any sense. You'll see. Soon enough. We all do eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? A nice pair of titties in the sky. They always come when the lights go out. <laughs> Why does his face look like that? I'm gonna keep trying to make this shot. Shit. I'll get it. Eventually. Oh! That was close. That was a close one. That was a close one. Let's go! Oh! Hey, what's good? Hi, I'm Linda. Can you take me to my room, please? Of course, Lydia. Oh, it's Lydia. Same thing, Linda. <laughs> I'll take you right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just, I need to get settled quickly. All right, well, hold on while I look you up. Lydia. Room 10. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'll take you exactly to where you, oh, the room's kind of already unlocked because I didn't realize that I was supposed to look up a person's name first. Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problems, just call us. Thank you. I, I will. Okay. Fucking weirdo. I know exactly what room you go to because it's the only one left. Evening. The name's Damien. I think I have a room reserved near room 11. Yes, Damien. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect. Let's hope for a peaceful night. Why are you guys being so weird? The fuck do you mean peaceful night? I don't like your tone. Also, do you know how to park? Do you know how to drive? What happened here? I'm gonna need you to like properly park your car before I show you to your room. Cause no. This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. Okay. Alright. Oh, somebody's calling the front desk. I don't know how I'm able to hear it from my here. I must have super sound. If that was the case, I'd be able to hear everything going on in these motel rooms. Snorting. Fucking. Snoring. Good evening. This is the hotel kitchen. It's time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for your guest tonight? Good evening. We'll need five meals. Got it. Five. Five meals. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. If anything else, uh, if anything, if there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. 15 minutes? Where's this food coming from? Oh, hello. What the fuck is that? Uh, okay. Is it saying something to me? Oh. Uh, R Ronald, what are you doing here, you silly goose? You're not supposed to be here. Sir, this is a Wendy's drive-thru. Hey there, are the meals, here are the meals you ordered, five in total. Thanks, you seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I get it, same here. Anyways, thanks again. No problem, take care. 
See, it would be so helpful if I could pick up all five of those meals. Do I just take them to my five guests? Food service! Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Ah, finally. I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. Will do. Enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, you too. Do they have the room numbers on the meals? Because that might actually make my job a tad bit easier. Just, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit easier. I don't think they do. Okay, we're playing food tag now. Here's your meal, Lydia. Oh, thank you so much. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks, I will. Have a good night. I don't even have a sprint button either. <laughs> I need to stop complaining. Just enjoy the game, you know. Just enjoy the uh, the atmosphere, the weirdly placed Ronald McDonald cart. <laughs> oh, you scared me! Oh, that was her speaking. Whoa, sorry, I was just about to knock. Huh. I guess I was a little eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks. And sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's all right. If you need anything else, <laughs> I scared her more than she or she scared me more than I scared her. Are you actually Ronald McDonald? Like, do you actually work for McDonald's? I don't really trust this. I feel like this guy's got some ulterior motives going on here. I feel like this food has been heavily poisoned. Uh oh. No. No, 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 no. Here's your dinner, Damien. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now. But I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. He seemed a little bit rude about that. But uh, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. I'm a good receptionist. They're lucky I didn't make them come to the, the front desk to grab their food. Shit, if it were me, I'd take all this for myself. Dinner for five? More like five dinners for me. <laughs> Food service! Dinner delivery, Scarlet. Thank you. I was just about to ask when it would arrive. Listen, you never have to ask when I'm about to arrive because I'm always here for you, baby. All right, let me stop. Here you go. Let us know if you need anything. Sure thing. Enjoy your evening. All right. Well, that's all five. That's all five of my guests. You can go now. I appreciate your services. All right, I've delivered all the meals. Wait, why the fuck weren't you doing this? Why weren't you the one delivering any meals? You're the meal service guy. I'm just the receptionist. Great. How did it? How did it go? Any issues? Not really. But one of the guests said they thought someone knocked on their door earlier. It wasn't me. Who said that? <laughs> Could have been another guest. These places can play tricky tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I hear you. I've got one more round of deliveries, and I'm out of here too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You too. Stay safe out there. I feel like that's what's gonna play when he walks away. All right, back to my job. Cause I'm so good at it. It sounds like it's saying, oh my gosh, hey! Oh my gosh, hey. Nope, 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 See? I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. I called this. I called it. I called this. Ah. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Davis? What are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room three tonight. I'm checking in on things after the power went out. Right. I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just had to reset the breakers. Good, good. 
I was worried if something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks a bit messy. Just to think. Could you tidy it up before the guests start noticing? Sure, I'll take care of it right away. Thanks. I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. <laughs> Is that queso? <laughs> okay, well... Cool. Hey, when is somebody gonna put T1DC in the game? Stop it, Chris. You know you're not. You know nobody knows who you are. Uh, do I have a broom? What? Broom? Mop? Something to clean? Oh! Hell yeah. I'm so good at my job. Watch this. Boom. Boom. You've never seen service so quick like this. Also, how did it get so messy in the first place? I was literally just in here. Hello, this is the reception. I'm Scarlet. Oh. Hello, is this the reception? I'm Scarlet in room 12. Listen, something strange has happened. While the power was out, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry. I feel really uneasy. Hey, you called the right guy, Scarlet. Uh, nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I was told to do first. I'm gonna check up on Scarlet, and then I'll answer the phone. It's a first come, first serve kind of service here. Okay, never mind. I have to answer the phone. Hello? Who is this? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something! Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. <sighs> okay, Scarlet, Scarlet. Scarlet, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Scarlet. Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. All right, I'm gonna force it open. God. No. No. Scarlet, no. This. How could this be? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I don't have to use it. Help! Help! This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. Maybe I can, can I do, I can do something about this, right? I have a gun. It's gotta be this room here. No, do I actually have to call the police? I have a gun. I can take matters into my own hands. <laughs> Queso is still just chilling there. Emergency services, what, what's going on? That's not what they would say. Someone's in one of my room, one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of Motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Oh my god! It's finally over. I managed to survive, but Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the, the danger, how close I came to losing everything. I just want to leave this nightmare behind. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> okay. 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 I do believe that this game had two endings, so I'm gonna go back in and then get that second ending and see what's going on there. Hold on, I just thought of something. So I'm delivering the food to everybody and I realized that I didn't look up Damien's name on the computer because he said what room he was in. Oh, okay. He is, okay. Okay, because he's the killer. I know that, but I was just wondering why, I mean like, because 
realistically, right? If he is the killer, he probably wouldn't actually have a reservation for this room. He just said that he had a room near room 12. And he's the one who kidnapped or killed Scarlet. So my guess would be that he lied about having a reservation. Yeah, I mean, I just assumed that he would have put his name under like a fake name or whatever. But I think in order to get that last ending, I have to let I have to let him kill me. Let's see what that ending does. All right, we just got off the phone with the police. And now... Oh, what? What? No! What's the second ending? What? All right, well, I don't exactly have time to go through all that again, um, but I, we survived, we killed the killer, Scarlet is still out there somewhere, hopefully the police figure it out because I, I'm not a detective, I'm just a receptionist. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers and you don't want to miss out on the celebration when we reach it. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And then I'll have YouTube recommend whatever you watch next, which will also be linked somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out.